Hi there, folks. This is Levi Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, your Class B and B plus RV specialists. Please check out our website, www.truckandrv.com, to view all of our inventory. We do not put any pricing on YouTube, so if you have any price inquiries, please jump over to our website where all of our prices are listed. I will put a direct link to this particular RV in the description below. We are a full service dealer. We do offer warranty as well as financing packages. If you have any questions on Lowe's, please call my brother Luke in our office at 419-899-2020. For sale today, we have a 2005 Road Trek 170 Popular. All right, folks, it's time for the inside portion of today's video tour. I'm going to start up front here like usual. We'll make my way towards the rear and then come back towards the front, try to get you a few different angles so you can get a feel of what it's like to be inside this RV. This unit will sleep up to three people. You can sleep two on the bed in the rear. And then the third person, what you would do is the bottom of this comes forward. You would swivel the front chair, either face it to the side or to the rear. Then the this would span the gap. Then you also bring the uh, seat back down. You make a twin size bed right there. Cloth seats all appear to be in very good condition. I do not see any rips, tears, or stains. This one has uh, maple flavored cabinetry all the way throughout it. Kitchen area is on the driver's side, directly behind the driver's seat. We have a storage closet that will show you the inside of that in a second. Refrigerator down bottom. That is a three-way fridge that will run on propane, 12 volt electricity or 110 electricity. Kitchen area, I'll show you a little more in depth in just a second when I get back there. Got the single basin kitchen sink, two burner cooktop, microwave up top, storage cabinets along the top, there. Road Trek's pretty good, uh, as most of the manufacturers, any, uh, any space at all that they can use. They will use for storage. Swing back over to the passenger side. Got the remote start switch for your own in 2800 generator. I believe that's the porch light. Test. We'll show you your gauges, propane, fresh water, holding and gray. Water pump, battery disconnect switch. Got the fantastic fan in the ceiling, the cool cat heat pump in the rear there. That will give you your air conditioning and being a heat pump, it will also give you heat down to a uh, certain ambient outside temperature. Um, it'll give you heat down to a certain temperature via electricity. So you could run heat off of shore power or off of the generator with that heat pump. There's also a onboard propane furnace if you're out in the cold and uh, it's too cold for the heat pump to work. All right, I'm gonna sit back in the back here and spin around and start working my way towards the front. Okay, we've got a Samsung flat screen TV. All of the electronics, DVD player and such for that should be located on that cabinet there. Back seat and Bed cushions all appear to be in very good shape. Got a maple finished tabletop here. Ooh, 
What always goes up but never comes down? Your age. Uh, I'll show you the bathroom in a second when I make my way back up that way, but essentially how this works, uh, you've got your fantastic fan in the center. You can see the, let me find my finger here. You can see the shower curtain track that goes around that. Uh, you'll open the closet here with the shower in it. You will pull the shower curtain around you. And then you will essentially stand in the aisle while you shower. Uh, that is a formed fiberglass drain pan, this whole section here. This would be your drain. You can leave it like that, uh, and it'll go down in, or you can pick this up uh, and take that out to clean the drain and or use it in that manner. And here is the west, the rest of your wet bath, toilet, shower curtain is in there, and then also we've got your shower head. Uh, judging by the plastic that's still on the inside mirror, I'd have to guess that this uh, probably was not used very much. I'm gonna spin around here, sorry for the 180. Uh, this is a closet with your electronics. For the TV. All of our units go through a pretty thorough inspection process. We have two gentlemen that strictly clean uh, one mainly does exteriors and one mainly does interiors. Uh, then we also have two other gentlemen that we call our fixer-uppers. Uh, between the two of them, many years experience, there's not much that they can, uh, can't can fix. Actually, I've not had anything that they can't fix. Uh, so everything's been tested, all the major systems, uh, to make sure that they're operational. This is on a Chevy chassis with the 6 liter Vortec V8. If you have any questions on this one, give us a call at Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around. Pretty briefly here, I'm going to go around the outside, show you the storage compartments and all the exterior stuff. Up top, we have the rollout manual awning, the back passenger corner. The coach battery is located behind this panel. You'll take out the thumb screw, slide this panel forward, and then it'll pull out and give you access to the coach battery. On the very rear of the vehicle, we have the seven way uh, wiring harness for your trailer, also the tow package, and then your propane fill, backup camera, spare tire. the fuel tank, hot water heater access, refrigerator vent, and your propane furnace vent. Back part of this compartment, we have the outside shower, and a pretty decent outside storage, which also houses the shore power cord, and up front, we have the sewage dumps. Mm -hmm.